Shalom family, it's your brother Benaya Ben Israel. And can I tell you something? This is something epic. The first of its kind, a monumental event of historical proportions. You see, the African Israelite Justice Foundation is hosting an event in Charleston, South Carolina, November the 15th through the 17th, called the My History, My Heritage Empowerment Summit in partnership with Gullah Geechee Tours to provide a once in a lifetime conference experience. On November the 15th through the 17th of this year, Israelites all around the world will gather where the sun turned into darkness and the moon did not give her light and the sign of the Son of Man did appear in heaven. The My History, My Heritage Empowerment Summit will offer historical tours both day and night by the one and only Gullah Geechee Tours. We also plan to offer authentic Gullah Geechee cuisine by the granddaughter of world-renowned Gullah Geechee cuisine chef, Emily Meggett. We also plan to host a beach or park Sabbath day service and fellowship, culminating with an African-Israelite Justice Foundation conference in the heart of Charleston on the historical grounds of an African-Israelite resting place with a replica ship and a plantation house. You see, to know where you're going, you have to know where you've been and learn how we can repair the breaches in the walls of Jerusalem together and help defend our heritage, our history, and by the grace and mercy of the Most High Yah, be empowered to victory. Hallelujah. Well, family, come on out and join us in Charleston, South Carolina, November the 15th through the 17th and be a part of this unforgettable weekend where history, heritage, and empowerment converge. Well, hope to see you there, Israel. Take care and shalom. stuff about Paul and his letter Timothy did. Do y'all see on that side from that photo? Do I need to move that podium back? Move back a little bit. Let me slide, slide it back. I want us to see this. So the next time you listen to your favorite teacher, uh, uh -oh. you know, I don't know, a lot of y'all got favorite teachers. I just ain't your only teacher. Okay. First Timothy chapter number two, 11 through 15. Let the woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. For Adam was first, was formed first, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. Yet she will be saved through childbearing if they continue in faith and love and holiness with all control. Adam wasn't deceived. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Paul, what the hell? Paul, Paul got it wrong? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you see, but Paul, that ain't what Paul say. Paul just said right here. Adam wasn't deceived. He was. Come on, y'all, Bible readers, Genesis chapter 3. Adam was, Adam was made a choice. The woman was begotten. So y'all saying Paul wrong. He said the same thing. Paul ain't saying the same thing. I'll say Adam wasn't deceived. Eve was. I'm saying Adam wasn't deceived. So is you saying Paul wrong? 
Who said Paul wrong? Who believed Paul wrong? Hey, somebody stepped on that down. I'm just saying what we read, bro. I'm saying he can't he put it in that role. That, but yeah, that, that's what Paul said. That's that what, what Paul meant. That's what Paul said. But but see, the problem is that the problem is that you got to know history to know what he meant. Right. Right. Most people don't know the history of what's going on, but Paul still wrote this. Mm-hmm. That Paul said that Adam was formed first. And Adam was not deceived. It's clear, bold as day. Like Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just telling you what it's saying. I'm just telling you what it's saying. I am I. Let's go to the Corinthians. What he say? The woman should keep silent in the churches. Plural. All the churches. All the women be quiet. Don't say nothing. If there is anything they desire to learn, let them speak or let them learn or let them ask their husbands at home. Okay. For it is shameful for a woman to speak in the, it's shameful for y'all to even talk in the church. Ain't nobody asking y'all nothing. And don't raise your hand. <laughs> Anything you got, you better go wait till you get home and ask your husband. So let's go back real quick. Let's go back to Timothy. Okay. Look at what it says here. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. For rather, or rather, she is to remain quiet. Here's why. He's giving instructions, but he's going to give a why. The why is, for Adam was formed first, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. So what Paul is doing, he's using the garden as a template to help you men to not get deceived. Because why? The serpent came to Eve first. Paul ain't saying that Adam didn't get deceived. He's not really saying he didn't, but he's saying that he, the woman was deceived and that his woman deceived Adam. It was, the woman was being the vessel that the serpent used. So Paul said to protect you men who think y'all know everything, don't let a woman deceive you. I'm afraid that if too many women rise up in the church, they may get deceived. They may deceive men. Paul, did, Paul had women teachers in this congregation. But the point was, when you start dealing with this, to Timothy as a young pastor, yeah. he's saying, listen, these women, you're in Ephesus. This is a protection scripture to protect you, men, who think you know everything, you know, with your chest stuck out, you'll be getting to see quick because you already think that you created first. So you have a you have a chauvinist, you have a mind, not chauvinist mindset, but you have a superiority complex that you so bold and so bad and you so anointed that you won't get deceived. So Paul said to protect all of you, Timothy, to make sure until you spiritually mature, don't have no women teaching in Ephesus. Because here's the thing: the women in Ephesus, they already have influence over men. Yeah. November the 15th, 
through the 17th. The African Israelite Justice Foundation is hosting a conference in Charleston, South Carolina called the My History, My Heritage Empowerment Summit and partnering with the real Gullah Geechee Tours. And now, if you're visiting Charleston for the very first time, it's easy to get lost. After all, it is a pretty big city. Well, that is, unless you know who to call. Someone who knows the history of the town. The real history. And for that, you'll need Brother Godfrey with Gullah Geechee Tours to show you around, to show you what's really going on. The road. And they'll always have their favorite trees, the ones they like the most. For this home, standing on this balcony, right next to a beautiful live oak tree also known as a weeping tree that cries real tears. Destination, the batter. With hanging trees, it's very important to understand the root, as we got like each other root people. Revelation 22, 16. The root. Mmm. Destination, the battery. The battery. Charleston's wealthiest city in the world. Here, fashion friendly. A pink sleeve auction block. Only used to sell Hebrew Israelite slaves. To match the pink house. City created to sell slaves. Everything is in your face. Hallelujah. Once you see it, you cannot see it. That's why most people are blind. The Holy City. Charleston is known as Heaven. One of its main nicknames. It is called heaven. I found heaven. You find your way to Charleston. You will find your way to heaven on earth. This home. A slave auction block. On one side. And a slave auction block. On its front side. Number one symbol for wealth and power. Ooh. The symbol I'll explain when you get here. The fountain of youth. They need a pot to hold that juice in. The number one city in the world. Famously known for its weddings. Majorly expensive weddings. So here we will experience hanging tree heaven. Hanging tree heaven. Charleston, come check this out. The battery destination location. Hanging tree heaven. Understand what the roots represent. How and why do they move in such a way? It has a lot to do with the blood that fertilized the trees, that fertilized the hanging trees. And it was the best fertilizer that there is. There's a reason why there are almost no black tour guides in Charleston. There's a reason why I'm the only unscripted black tour guide in Charleston. All scripts, but we only offer scriptures. In this holy city, and the secrets are 
are being revealed. Hallelujah. Gala Geechee Tours. Come check us out. You're coming or what? It's truth is marching on. Shalom, family. It's time. It's time to put the finishing touches on that perfect cut. It's time to load up the van and gather the family for a road trip for the road to Charleston, South Carolina. This November the 15th through the 17th in Charleston, South Carolina. The African Israelite Justice Foundation is hosting a conference. A gathering of kings and queens of Israel. A revealing of hidden Hebrews. To reclaim our history, our heritage, and through the grace and mercy of the Most High Yah, become empowered to victory. It is a conference where you will hear legal counsel, professional advice, history, music, and above all, prayer. Will the kings and queens of Israel arise and heed the call of the shofar? Israel, we look forward to seeing you there. Shalom.